Inverter, for those who don't know, and I'm sure most of you watching this will, is a, is a little board that looks like this that plugs in and it basically, you know, takes the, the DC voltage and creates enough of an AC voltage with that frequency to drive the backlight. Um, so, that being said, if we just take the oscilloscope probe and hold it, normally the inverter is going to rest in this area here. If we just kind of, and, and this is, when we came across this, this was non-invasive testing, which in theory would be awesome. You'd take a laptop, you open it, you don't have to take anything apart, you just open it, hold something near the area, and it kind of tests for you. That would be really cool if this actually worked. Um, once again, to quickly test, just to make sure my meter's working, human body does read out a sine wave and approximately 60 hertz frequency. So by moving the probe around the inverter, I get nothing because it's in sleep mode. So there's nothing driving the screen. The screen's black. If we wake up this laptop, okay, and now we start here, and I'm just basically moving until I get near the inverter area. And if you look at the meter, if I start from the left here, and as I move it over, and get closer to that inverter area see how I start picking up a wave and it's reading out a frequency of 62 and a half or so it definitely shows a sine wave 61 Hertz but it does and as I get further away it disappears so it is a quick non-invasive way to tell that there's frequency at the inverter area point so it is outputting enough to drive the screen um, you know, we're not checking voltage, we're just literally pulling frequency right out of the airwave, um, or right out of the air. But as the probe gets closer, and I wish I could back up to show you this, as the probe gets closer, the pattern does get bigger, and we definitely see some activity anyway. Um, on our dim screen laptop, over here, if we turn it on, and <clears throat> this does have a faint image in the back. Probably can't see it on here, but it is back there. But even with the faint image, when I this is an odd case because on the laptop we had in here before that was all black, um, it didn't emit anything. With the faint image, we are getting. Sorry about the shaky video, guys. We are getting some activity, but it's not a nice sine wave like the other one was. We're getting. Just, I wonder if I can move the meter over here for a second. I'm going to scoot some stuff over here. The meter's not on, but it's plugged in, so bear with me. Okay. All right, with this here, all I'm doing is, is sweeping once again from left to right, getting near the inverter area, which is normally over here. Um, by sweeping, it's, it's doing something... But, and I can see the image behind the screen, you probably can't see it on my iPhone here, but we really aren't getting anything discernible. There's no distinct sine wave. We're getting movement, but there's nothing distinct. When I go over to the laptop that does work, it's a huge, I'm getting a gigantic wave, and actually I'm getting a frequency readout of 62.5 hertz. Um... So, could this non-invasive testing that the Phoner Books, that's F-O-N-E-R, I believe it's phonerbooks.com, they have great PDFs and so forth. They use a, a multimeter, like a, a Fluke or different brands of multimeters to check for this. We just find that, that the scope just graphically shows it in a really easy, and we don't have to hook up a negative probe. Um, once again, as we get closer, closer to it, it is definitely showing activity, picking up a frequency. 62 and a half hertz on the dim screen back here we do the same thing we get near the inverter and there's movement but not really any discernible frequency there's nothing showing up 